Welcome to YQ Academy Spring Interview Questions and Answers. 1. List some of the benefits of IA. It will minimize the amount of code in your application. It will make your application easy to test because it doesn't require any singletons or gen lookup mechanisms in your unit test cases. It promotes loose coupling with minimal effort and least intrusive mechanism. It supports eager instantiation and lazy loading of the services. 2. Explain Spring Beans. They are the objects that form the backbone of the user's application. Beans are managed by the Spring IAuth container. They are instantiated, configured, wired and managed by a Spring IAuth container. Beans are created with the configuration metadata that the users supply to the container. 3. How configuration metadata is provided to the Spring container. 1. Exum-based configuration. In Spring Framework, the dependencies and the services needed by Beans are specified in configuration files which are in XML format. These configuration files usually contain a lot of bin definitions and application-specific configuration options. They generally start with a bean tag. For example, 2. Annotation-based configuration. Instead of using XML to describe a bean wiring, you can configure the bean into the component class itself by using annotations on the relevant class, method, or field declaration. By default, annotation wiring is not turned on in the Spring container. So, you need to enable it in your Spring configuration file before using it. For example, 3. Java-based configuration. The key features in Spring Framework's new Java configuration support are at the rate configuration annotated classes and at the rate bean annotated methods. 1. At the rate bean annotation plays the same role as the element. 2. At the rate configuration classes allows to define interbean dependencies by simply calling other at the rate bean methods in the same class. For example, 4. How many bean scopes are supported by Spring? 1. Singleton. This provides scope for the bean definition to single instance per Spring IAuth container. 2. Prototype. This provides scope for a single bean definition to have any number of object instances. 3. Request. This provides scope for a bean definition to an HTTP request. 4. Session. This provides scope for a bean definition to an HT session. 5. Global session. This provides scope for a bean definition to a global HT session. 5. What is the bean life cycle in Spring Bean Factory container? 1. The Spring container instantiates the bean from the bean's definition in the XML file. 2. Spring populates all of the properties using the dependency injection, as specified in the bean definition. 3. The factory calls set B and aim by parsing the bean's ID if the bean implements the BeAnimeWare interface. 4. The factory calls set B and factory by parsing an instance of itself if the bean implements the bean factory aware interface. 5. Pre-process before initialization methods are called if there are any bean post processors associated with the bean. 6. If an init method is specified for the bean, then it will be called. 7. Finally, post-process of tear initialization methods will be called if there are any bean post processors associated with the bean. To understand it in better way, check the below diagram. 6. Explain inner beans in Spring. A bean can be declared as inner bean only when it is used as a property of another bean. For defining a bean, the Spring's XML-based configuration metadata provides the use of less than bean greater than element inside the less than property greater than or less than constructor arg greater than. Inner beans are always anonymous and they are always scoped as prototypes. For example, let's say we have one student class having reference of person class. Here we will be creating only one instance of person class and use it inside student. Here's a student class followed by bean configuration file. 7. Define bean wiring. When beans are combined together within the Spring container, it's called wiring or bean wiring. The Spring container needs to know what beans are needed and how the container should use dependency injection to tie the beans together while wiring beans. 8. 
What do you understand by auto-wiring and name the different modes of it? The spring container is able to auto-wire relationships between the collaborating beams. That is, it is possible to let spring resolve collaborators for your bean automatically by inspecting the contents of the BN factory. Different modes of bean auto-wiring are A. No. This is default setting which means no auto-wiring. Explicit bean reference should be used for wiring. B. By name. Injects the object dependency according to name of the bean. It matches and wires its properties with the beans defined by the same names in the XML file. C. Biting. Injects the object dependency according to type. It matches and wires a property if its type matches with exactly one of the bean's name in XML file. D. Constructor. It injects the dependency by calling the constructor of the class. It has a large number of parameters. E. Auto detect. First, the container tries to wire using auto wire by constructor. If it can't, then it tries to auto wire by by type. 9. What are the limitations with auto wiring? Overriding possibility. You can always specify dependencies using and settings which will override auto wiring. Primitive data type. Simple properties such as primitives, strings, and classes can't be auto wired. Confusing nature. Always prefer using explicit wiring because auto-wiring is less precise. 10. What do you mean by annotation-based container configuration? Instead of using XML to describe a bean wiring, the developer moves the configuration into the component class itself by using annotations on the relevant class, method, or field declaration. It acts as an alternative to XML setups. For example, 11. How annotation wiring can be turned on in Spring. By default, annotation wiring is not turned on in the Spring container. Thus, to use annotation-based wiring we must enable it in our Spring configuration file by configuring less than can text. Annotation config slash greater than element. For example, 12. What's the difference between at the rate component, at the rate controller, at the rate repository and at the rate service annotations in Spring. At the rate component. This marks a Java class as a bean. It is a generic stereotype for any Spring managed component. The component scanning mechanism of Spring now can pick it up and pull it into the application context. At the rate controller. This marks a class as a Spring Web MVC controller. Beans marked with it are automatically imported into the dependency injection container. At the rate service. This annotation is a specialization of the component annotation. It doesn't provide any additional behavior over the at the rate component annotation. You can use at the rate service over at the rate component in service layer classes as it specifies intent in a better way. At the rate repository. This annotation is a specialization of the at the rate component annotation with similar use and functionality. It provides additional benefits specifically for DAOs. It imports the DAOs into the DAI container and makes the unchecked exceptions eligible for translation into Spring Data Access exception. This is the end of our SQL interview questions. We hope you enjoyed learning with YQ Academy. Until next time, goodbye.